guys ready? Is everybody ready? Y'all tell me when and we'll go. I don't think we should be handling bailouts. 
I don't think we need to be dealing with stimuluses. I don't think we need to deal with fake money that doesn't exist like we saw in the budget this past week. What I think is we need to prioritize and think about the small businesses and people that are safe in this country. One of the concerns we had from our listeners was that you had sort of an adversarial at times relationship within the House and the legislature. What can be done to overcome that? Or are we looking at uh, the same relationship with Governor Sanford? You know, I'm a different person than Governor Sanford. And what I will tell you is I worked well with the legislature when it was workers' comp reform. I worked well with the legislature when it was postal insurance reform. I worked well with the legislature when it was trying to get tort reform through. The thing that the legislature and I disagreed on was I think they should show their votes on the record, and they disagreed. What I will tell you is it's about communication. I will work hard to make sure that I communicate with the legislature. I will work hard to make sure that the legislature and I work hand in hand to make sure that South Carolina benefits. But my job is not to please the legislature. My job is to please the people of the state more for the people of the state. That's what I'll continue to do. What did you learn from the short term? You know, the one thing I learned from it was watching the challenge of the Governor Sanford, and by nature, he was reactionary. Legislation would pass and he would react. In order to truly um, be a leader with the legislature and with the people of South Carolina, you have to be predictable. You have to let them know what you're going to do before you do it, and you have to let them know the consequences before they happen. My job is to work with the legislature from the committee level to the House level to the Senate level, so by the time it gets to my desk, it will have been a team effort. What I will tell you is for all legislation, for everybody that helped us pass good government pro-business reforms, I'll go into every one of their districts and praise them for it. For everybody that works against good government pro-business reforms, I'm going to go into every one of their districts and hold their hands for fun. I think that's the job I need to do for people. The vote that mattered, and we can play these games all day long. The vote, no, no, it's not a game. No, 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 and I don't mean that disrespectfully, but the vote that mattered that affected the people of the state was that when it counted and it affected the people and we had the information in hand, I voted against the stimulus. I voted against the budget that included the stimulus. And I also asked the legislature to give us 24 hours to approve. What, what are those two votes that you did? There was a vote when we first had the stimulus come down from Obama, and I made two calls. I called Senator Dumont's office, and I called Governor Sanford's office, and I said, do we have to take the money? And their answer was, we don't know. And so what you saw me and a lot of reformers do was throw a lot of amendments to that package to see if we could clean it up. Once it came back from the Senate, we realized it couldn't be cleaned up, and we realized that we could fight it. And that's why you saw my final vote was against the stimulus. And, you know, it was the right vote, and I will continue to stand by that. Yes, we will be extremely competitive. We have had lots of support calls coming in. We have had lots of people who say, tell us how to help you, what can we do? And so, you know, certainly I'm on the phone, I'm asking for it, but I am very, very grateful to the support that we've seen across the state and across the country. People love the fact that South Carolina made this decision last night. People love the fact that South Carolina showed it was going in a different direction, and they love the fact that there was something positive that came out of it, which is, this was a woman that was running that had no name ID and no money, but what she did have was the fact